Hello, I'm Edward, and I'm working as a developer here at Linear Sounds. Today, we're going to walk through our new plugin, Glitter. Glitter is our granular delay plugin, designed to create immersive textures and interesting ambience. Glitter adds depth, movement, and atmosphere to any sound. So let's check it out. Let's now go over the interface of Glitter. In the top left corner, we have the Mix knob and Width knob. Right here, we have the Grain control. In the top right corner, we have the Delay control. In the bottom right corner, we have the EQ control. In the bottom left corner, we have controls like Pitch and Smoothness. And at the bottom of the plugin, we both have Input and Output gain to match the signal to your liking. And in the center, we have this interactive orb. Now, let's explore how glitter sounds on different instruments. I have this synth right here, and I'm going to bypass glitter to just hear how the uh, synth sound itself, and it sounds like this. And now, let's activate glitter and hear it in action with this uh, preset. As you can hear, we get a lot of different grains following the signal. And this is controlled in this grain section. So this amount knob controls how many grains will be active. If I put this at the lowest amount, which is two, we will get just a few grains, only two. As you can hear. And if we put this at 100, we get a lot of grains. You can also control the grain size right here. A shorter grain size will be a more transient grain and the longer will let you capture a longer amount. Position essentially is how far back the grain can be read. And this is in milliseconds. So on a very high setting, it can take a grain that was recorded almost two seconds ago, which will create a more random feel to the grains. If you have a very low value set to the position, it will almost act as a chorus. So let's try to experiment with these three knobs and see what different sounds we can get with this synth. Another fun parameter to play around with is the reverse slider. The reverse slider is essentially how likely it would be that a grain will be played backwards. So at 100%, all grains will be played in reverse. And at zero, every grain will be played forward. So let's see how that sounds. At 0% on the reverse, it sounds like this. And at 100%, you can hear that backwards kind of effect. And it's really cool to blend it. At 50%, there are just as much grains that play forward that are playing in reverse. Let's also look at the pitch knob right here. This controls the playback speed of the grain. So at zero, it will be played in just the regular speed and the regular pitch. And that will sound like this. And then you can mess around with this to get really crazy and interesting uh, pitches of the grains. So for example, a 7. And the default that is uh, an octave up. We also have this smoothest knob. This essentially creates a fade for the grain so it doesn't get very sharp and becomes very soft. So let's try that. You can hear the grain become almost clicky. If we change this to an even shorter grain size, we can hear this. It becomes this like textury thing. And if we take the smoothness to 100%, we can hear this is much more smooth now. It kind of removes the texture and the clickiness of the sound. 
up here we have the width parameter and this is how far the grains will be panned. So at 100% they will always be hard panned from left to right. And at 25% uh, they will be panned 25% out. So it's kind of creating a different stereo depth when adjusting this uh, parameter. Right here we have the delay section. We have these three parameters that lets you control the delay. Let's start here at the delay mix. So the delay mix is pretty simple. It's how much of the sound will have a delay on it. So at 0% there will be no delay at all. And at 100% you will only have delay. So let's see how that sounds. I've loaded in a new pluck. It sounds like this with glitter bypassed. And let's start with the delay mix at zero. Let's try it on 100% just to see how that sounds. As you can see, this delay only affects the grain signal, which lets you create really long and cool swelling delay sounds on the grains. Then we have the feedback, and that's just a normal feedback as any delay. At 100%, the delay will echo forever, and that will sound like this. Actually, let's lower that. We have this delay timing right here that you can choose from different delay timings based on your BPM. Or you can click this uh, note button right here and go into millisecond mode, which lets you customize the delay timing with even more precision. We also have a three band EQ built into the plugin. We have a low band, a mid band and a high band, along with a low cut filter and a high cut filter. Let's now work with glitter a little bit in context. So I've made this pretty simple beat right here. It sounds like this. Pretty simple. I have this synth right here uh, that are playing the chords. And I want to spice it up a little bit and create some more texture using glitter. Let's start with just listening to the raw sound of the synth without any effect. And let's just see what happens by just adding glitter without changing anything. This is just the default preset. As you can hear, we have immediately changed the sound from a pretty basic synth sound to have a much more interesting ambience and a very interesting texture, I think. And that's just the default preset. But I think in this case it's actually good, so let's leave it there. And let's hear the whole beat with just with this one change. Really cool. Let's also try adding some on the, something on the drums to make them hit harder or have more of a texture on it. You can actually use glitter on drums as well. So let's open up glitter and the default preset will sound very weird on the drum. It will sound like this. But our team has created some really good presets uh, for drums and other instruments. So let's open up the preset load window and show you around there. As you can see here, we have created a whole new experience for presets and we call this preset tagging. You can choose multiple different tags to filter the presets specifically for your needs. So let's start with drums as we want a drum preset right here. That has already filtered it down to just show the drum presets. Let's also choose organic. And here we have two different presets. Let's try this first one, Soulful Drum Room 2. Let's try that. This is still a little bit too messy for me. Let's try the first one. That is pretty cool. Let's, let's try to hear what it actually does by adjusting the mix right here. That is pretty cool. I'm gonna low cut the sound a little bit to make the kick not have a lot of grains in it. But that is really cool. That is a really cool texture, I think. I'm pretty happy with that. So let's also try something on the guitar. Here we have the guitar without any effect. Real nice. Let's add glitter. And let's choose a good preset. I'm going to click the guitar tab. And I'm just now I'm just going to close the window and use these arrows to scroll through the different presets. I 
think this is really cool. Let's hear it in context. And that's how with just three different glitter instances you can really spice up a beat that was pretty boring to something much more interesting. I want to end this video by showing one of the coolest features and workflow in glitter, I think. We have this button right here that's called the randomize button. This will randomize all the parameters to create a completely random grain sound. So I have this uh, synth right here, sounds like this. Uh, and let's try to hit the randomize button and see what kind of sounds I can get. Let's say I really like that one and want to save it in my preset. I can hit this preset save button. And here I can choose the tags along with the name and description and save it. But let's say I don't have time to come up with a name and I just want the plugin to do it for me. I can press this AI name button. This will analyze all the parameters and create a suiting name for us. So right here it has created Subtle Grain Storm, which I think is pretty good for this sound. Let's save this in synth and long. And let's hear it again. Thanks for checking out our walkthrough of Glitter. You can try this plugin out for free for 14 days. We both have rent to own or perpetual licensing options over at LinearSounds.com. Head over there to learn more about the plugin and upcoming releases. Happy producing! <laughs>